Coach, we read earlier this week that every single offensive meeting ended the same way from day one, which is a photo of the national championship trophy. You're about to play for that. That's Put right. in the words how this group was so mission-minded this year in so many critical moments. I just I think that their focus in the offseason, what they were about to embark on, has never changed. You know, preseason, fall camp, through this season, and and we talk all the time, like way, way back when, when I put a slide up that said 161 days to Houston, what's possible, not what's probable. And I think a lot of people talk about, they focus more on this is gonna be a good team, you got a chance to win the conference, that's what's probable. What's possible is winning a national championship, and they've never taken their eye off that. We're about a week away from that opportunity you just described, but how about the aggressive approach? You've always been aggressive. Hello, congratulations to you. What did you think about the game? Okay. What did you think about the game? I had fun. How did you think Mike played? Good. <laughs> I think you and about 80,000 people had a good time today, too. <laughs> I think so. But you always wanted to be aggressive, Coach. You guys had multiple fourth downs, multiple critical moments where you even take a timeout and say, yeah, we're going to go for it again. Yep. What were conversations like with you and Coach DeBoer in those critical moments? Well, I think that, you know, there's enough experience and time together where you just think about, like, hey, Grub, what's your confidence level with this moment? You know, and that's where you just got to be honest, too. And when I feel really good about something, I tell them we got it. You know, we'll get it here. And if it's a situation where I fired too many bullets and we just don't have our best stuff at that moment, you know, we just got to be honest about those situations, too. But we're going to stay aggressive and believe in our kids, and it obviously has paid off in a, in a lot of crucial moments. It felt like this team's been dramatically disrespected all season long, whether it's <laughs> basketball on grass, Heisman, Belitnikoff. How have they dealt with what other people are saying about them? Oh, man, I, I'm just, I hope they keep doing it. Yeah. It's just a fuel. They love it. They love a big stage. Shoot, if they would have had 90,000 Texas fans here, they might have played even better. You know, they, they love that, man. I'd say every time they got their back against the wall, people doubt them. They're at their absolute best, you know. So that's just very inspiration just when you think about what people are supposed to be like and how you're supposed to react to people doubting you in life. And they're just awesome. Yeah, I mean, I love every single one of them. You were asked about Mike. He played pretty good. Coach, he looked like an NFL player playing in college. What was he like on the headsets when you were talking? And can you put his performance in any context tonight? Um, I, I think that Mike, when you think about, like, those moments and those games, that's when he's at his best. And that's where the team follows suit with him. And as far as the discussions, Mike, Mike does such a good job of just being honest and, you know, forthright with, like, hey, this is what I thought I could have done. Did you see this? And he just he just is always straightforward and, and wants to get it right you know and so he's super easy to to work with because he just he wants to be the best well go enjoy your family you yeah, now yeah. are among the best one more game coach <laughs> appreciate you man, you it, man. appreciate you, you. thank you so much coach there's a lot of good things to talk about but i gotta ask the physicality post game ryan grubb sneak <laughs> attack tackle on you uh definitely so i normally catch him first all right and this time he caught me i mean it's been two years going and he caught me but man it's special we got a great group of men in that room. Um, we talk about it all the time. You get a bunch of men in a room, and they typically mess it up. And uh, we've done a good job of not messing it up. <laughs> I would agree with that. Also, the men in your specific wideout room, it seems like they all met their version of adversity, a punctured lung, some drops, not making catches, uh, a knee. How have they battled to get to this stage tonight and ball on this field? They stay dialed in. Um, they hold each other accountable. We say in our room a lot of times, all the time the standard is a standard so it doesn't matter who goes into the game the st standard still remains the same but it doesn't matter who's in that practice but it also doesn't matter if you're injured your standard still remains the same you still need to study the film you still need to be engaged you need to be in treatment and you need to attack everything the same way as if you're going to be out there for the game so these guys have done a good job of, 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 of taking that in and making sure that that was on display each and every day Roma Dunze goes over 100 again. Was he the philosopher or the warrior tonight, as you described <laughs> him? He's definitely the warrior tonight, uh, blocking on the perimeter physically. Um, that, that's the warrior mentality that he has. You know, when it's time to catch a pass in, in a clutch moment, that's the warrior in him, okay? All right, on the sideline, he's completely the philosopher on the sideline, making sure that he's mentally helping the other guys stay engaged in the game. So, um, you know, University of Washington, you're seeing one of the greatest uh, to ever really do it uh, right here in the flesh right now. So enjoy it because uh, he'll be gone after this next one. Tight games can go either way. Your team seems, especially receiver, to embrace when it's tight. And tonight, all of them made a play when it was close. Mm -hmm. 
do you discuss that and, and what's it like to coach that group for you uh, certainly I tell them all the time uh, you got to have a clear heart and a clear mind because you never know when that play is going to come up for you that you have to make that play and if you aren't mentally prepared and don't have that mindset in that moment you ain't gonna, you're not going to make the play and uh, our guys definitely embrace that and, and understand that they have a responsibility for each other if I make a play then guess what Grub wants to call another play to get it to the wide house then he wants to call another one to get it to the wide house and then all of a sudden the ball's just flying all over to all the wide outs and you saw a lot of guys number number one number two number 11 number four all those guys really uh did a good job of, of, of contributing to this victory and uh they just hey if it's my time it's my time i mean at times i'm even subbing these guys and they're like i don't care coach you tell me who's going in and who's coming out and i'm ready to go and uh that that right there that helps me as a coach to really make sure we put the right guys in the right positions at the right time and uh, i appreciate them for that Michigan oh. in about a week for everything. Mm -hmm. I know coaches are singularly focused, but have you thought about that? Did you be able to watch at least a little bit as that game was starting today? I uh, watched a little bit of it on the way here. Um, obviously, we were focused on our own game, but you know, when you're riding on when you're riding on a bus or hanging out waiting, you know, you and it took a long. It was a lot of waiting. This whole week was a lot of waiting, and uh, you 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 tend to you know peek over there a little bit here and there, but in your mind, you're not game planning. And uh, we'll get on the plane right now. Uh, start game planning on the plane, get back to Seattle, and uh, we'll get to get, get going on, on trying to go win this national championship. Uh, man, uh, Husky fans, thank you for being here. Everybody that was here, uh, can't wait to see you in Houston. Love it. All right, get the coffee ready. We'll see you in a week. All right, brother. All right.